welcome back to another video. We are back in Runda. You guys know there's so much going on here and that's why we'll keep coming back. But today it's particularly exciting. Some of you may have missed the fact that we have partnered up with Crown Paints, which is amazing. If you missed that, I urge you go back to our channel and you'll find the video. It's really a coming together of titans. We have on one hand Crown Paints, who is the king of paints, on the other hand, we have Fine Oven Interiors, who are the gold standard when it comes to construction and interiors. So today I'm really excited to be here with Leonard, who is the product executive. Am I getting that right? You're getting it right, Cynthia. Yeah, Thank of Crown Paints. Much. Yeah, so Leonard, the purpose of having you here is really to give our audience an in-depth understanding of this stage of uh, the construction that we're doing so yeah. we've done amazing work all around you've had a chance to look at you know the work we've done we want to make sure that we're protecting it with the right products so you're the guy who's going to tell us what's the best and why we should choose those products absolutely okay so where do you want to start i'm thinking since we're outside let's just start with the perimeter wall it's beautiful we've done so much work you can see all the detail that has gone into it now, what can we do to actually make sure that this wall lasts for like a lifetime? Thank you, Cynthia, for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a huge pleasure mm -hmm. to partner with people who are skilled at yes. their work. Same. So it is <laughs> a pleasure and mm -hmm. um, we are looking forward to providing advice, especially on products mm -hmm. with the right ingredients mm -hmm. to ensure durability, mm -hmm. good service preparation, yeah. and also ensure that um, your cost Mm -hmm. is well put and, and, and for the same durability. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, looking at uh, the fence, it's really beautiful. It is, it's gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> so to ensure durability, because it's a concrete wall, yes. then you need to do a very good service preparation. Mm. That means you need to ensure that the concrete slab itself is mm -hmm. well sanded. A hundred percent. To lose all and and the sanding is absolutely gorgeous mm -hmm. and then you need to ensure that it's well primed mm -hmm. well undercoated so which now, products the reason i want you yes, to really yes, walk us yes. through this is because i want our clients to have the confidence that the products that we're using are really going to last for as i said a lifetime so which products would you say crown paints has you know that we will be able to use to make sure that these really last Cynthia, so um, we are going to look at this mm -hmm. from two phases. Yes. Um, the first one is application of a texture finish like mm -hmm. crown rough and tough. Oh, I have heard that yes. we do have plans to finish off the wall using rough and tough. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. what we have is a good start. Yes. Uh, after removing, after good sanding, mm -hmm. good loose, uh, removal of all the loose um, sand and particles from the wall. Yes. Then you can choose to fast undercoat it with an interior exterior emulsion undercoat yes. which we've seen a good job so far yes you can see and they're currently working on it as the project goes on absolutely yeah after this uh wonderful undercoating with a super interior exterior emulsion yes. undercoat mm -hmm. then the one now is ready for application of mm. round rough and tough yes now uh, the rough and tough mm -hmm. can now be top coated mm -hmm. with a water based coating mm -hmm. or emulsion paint okay and we have quite a number. We mm -hmm. have three products that I'll mention mm -hmm. quickly. We have Permaplast, yes. Long Life Paint, mm -hmm. then we have Ultra Guard Silicon Paint, yeah. and we have Ultra Guard Protect Silicon Extreme. Okay, so can you break down these products yes, and tell yes. us what the different facets of them are? Now, when it comes to Permaplast, it's your ordinary exterior paint, yes. which has been made to actually persevere all the ultraviolet radiation mm. uh, protection from the ordinary ash mm. weather mm -hmm. conditions. Yes. But now on an advanced stage, mm -hmm. we have Ultra Guard Silicon. Yeah. The silicon in it gives it an extra water repellent. Oh, okay, that's important. Y that is very you important. You know, living in a country like Kenya where we do get rains every now and then, so it's very important. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now that, again, we mm -hmm. go an extra mile and have an additional uh, more ultra mm -hmm. superior product mm -hmm. called Ultra Guard Protect. It's ultra, ultra, it just keeps yes. getting better. <laughs> yes. yes, Ultra Guard Protect Silicon Extreme. Yes. Now, this is where we have the water repellent, mm -hmm. we have the dirt proof mm -hmm. resistance. Yeah. That means it has an ability to self clean. Yeah. Self-cleaning yes. sounds ideal. No yes. one wants to be cleaning or having dirty permit walls uh, that you can't do anything yes. about or having to hose it down. 
and mm -hmm. then additionally yeah. um, it's, it, it has what we call crack breaching property mm. so um over time sometimes mm. when the concrete has not been well built yes. it has airline cracks yes up. so you as um uh, uh, the owner of those yes. or the owner of the project do mm -hmm. not want to see those underlying cracks yes outside the thing so uh -huh. It has a bit of flexibility to yeah. accommodate and hide those, those cracks. Okay, so. so guys, you've heard that, but I can guarantee you guys have been on this channel long enough to know that we're definitely not going to be having any cracks, but Absolutely. it is a good product to have just in case anything happens. But I can guarantee with fine oven, construction and interiors, you're not going to have yeah. any cracks. But thank you for, you know, telling us why it's best to choose different products for different purposes. As I said, we want things that last. That's always what we want for our projects. So it's very, very important to collaborate with people who also have the same goal in mind because if we're not doing good work, then whatever you put on top of it is just not going to to work, Absolutely. right? And also, if your products don't work well, you know, you don't collaborate with people who are, have a weakness. We work to be stronger together. Absolutely. So with that said, we are going to see how this is actually going to turn out once we do all that stuff on top after. So follow this process to see what is to come and what other crown products we are going to be putting on top to make sure that this beautiful wall remains as it is so before we can even go in I don't think we're really done with the exteriors because as magnificent as this house looks yes. there is something that is sorely lacking obviously it's very blank there's not much going on but it's also part of the exterior so when we're beautifying this yes, yes and we also want things that are going to be long-lasting what would you recommend per se like to put on the columns okay so um especially with these columns mm -hmm. um you're going to have again about two types of roots that you can take mm -hmm. the first one is you're going to con first you need to do a very good sunday mm -hmm. very good service preparation yes now then you choose are you going to use a textured uh, finish on top of these columns mm -hmm. for example are you able do you want to use crown granite mm -hmm. finish paint yes on top of this mm -hmm. then still you would need to do a good good sanding mm. good under yeah. coating definitely yes <laughs> yeah. and then of course you you're going to apply the top coat which is like a beautiful mm -hmm. granite stone finish yes that mimics it it has a resemblance to your natural stone granite okay um, that would or, or, be or amazing yes like i would want to see what that would look like absolutely yeah now <laughs> then the second option is you may mm -hmm. choose to to have you may choose to want to have a very smooth very smooth column finish yeah with very nice mm -hmm. done edges mm. very smooth finish that mm. will be painted on top so you'll need to skim mm. that means you need to use a wall plus fine party mm -hmm. that one is a white cement exterior and interior paste mm -hmm. skimming party yes that gives you a smooth column with that retains the same same kind of edges that has been done here yeah and then it can be painted whichever top coat color that you're going to mm -hmm. choose for your columns okay yes. yeah because obviously there's people who like to have more textures than the exterior and then there's people yes, who yes. definitely want a very classic clean finish so yeah. it's great to know that we have like two choices really either way we choose to go we have something that will work very well for the exterior and beautify it as well which yes. is super important fine urban interiors we do like to make sure that even though something is functional it doesn't have to look boring I, agree. I think there is a perception that when it comes to your exteriors protect 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 yes. like don't care about aesthetics just protect it and then leave it but the goal obviously in partnering with crown is to be able to achieve those two things yes. of something having something that's durable but also very beautiful at the end of the day exactly yeah so I, uh, what we are providing actually is mm -hmm. not only aesthetic mm. but longevity durability yes um especially <laughs> um given this area this is a high traffic area ha very we high need traffic to give you mm. something that is scratch resistance mm -hmm. and and durability is everything to us same here i love that we're on the same page so and now we can head on the inside because i have so many more questions for you yes. we're doing so many different things and i'd want to know what are the best products to work with on different types of surfaces absolutely okay.
In front of you, you're looking at a lot of boards. There's a lot of woodwork going on. Fine Urban Interiors is known for customizing a lot of the elements that we use in our projects. So that's another thing we need to definitely protect. So with all this work, wood, we are working with MDF. What products would you recommend to make sure that once we're painting these and putting them where they belong, that they'll actually last and serve their purpose? Cynthia, that's a very good question mm. because um, when it comes to working with MDF, yeah. then you know we are experiencing a lot of chalkiness. Yes. And addition to the substrate is the most important part. Yeah. So very. Brown paint, mm. as an, a product meant specifically for this kind of material, mm -hmm. and it's called acrylic primer seal undercoat. Yes. So what that does mm -hmm. is it finds the chalkiness. Yes gives you a very good addition mm -hmm. for the top coat that will be done on this finish. Mm -hmm. Then again, you know, it protects this service from mm -hmm. penetration of, say, substances like water. Mm -hmm. Suppose someone spills water. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So you, you really want to protect this material, mm -hmm. but not only protecting it, but with the right product that ensures very good addition to mm -hmm. the substrate. Yes. And that is where we come in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This substrate, Cynthia, mm -hmm. you see, um, it is chalky yes. because it's made from uh, flash pots. Mm -hmm. So what happens with this mm -hmm. is you require a product that has a very good addition. Yes. And that is where Crown Paints comes in with Crown Acrylic Primer Sealer mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. It has very good addition mm -hmm. to the service, mm -hmm. only making sure that, you know, like this, we need to protect it from water. Yes, it definitely or needs to be. any liquid that can yeah. spill on top of it. Mm, so mm -hmm. you need to have a product that can find the chalkiness, yeah. that can give you a good addition mm -hmm. to the top coat that you're going to use. Yes. So that is mm -hmm. where the acrylic primer sealer undercoat comes mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. You're going to do it all through the service, yeah. and now your product is ready for mm -hmm. the top coat that will be used. Mm -hmm. For example, you can look at this coat. Now, yes. Mm -hmm. Like what I was explaining, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's a porous substrate. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, we are coming with the right ingredients, mm -hmm. the right product, mm -hmm. to make sure that even the porosity yes. of the substrate mm -hmm. in itself mm -hmm. is what we are guaranteeing, that we are going to seal mm -hmm. and reduce the porosity yes. of the substrate, mm -hmm. so that even when you come with a top coat, uh -huh. it's not going to seep in, you know, like mm -hmm. you can have a finish that is being sucked into the yeah. board, and yes. then you are not going to have an even mm. and good finish. Yes. So that is where these products come in. Understanding mm -hmm. the substrate, yes. knowing the right product with the right ingredients, mm -hmm. so that you can have that kind of... The finish that we're looking for. Exactly. We always pride ourselves in having perfect finishing. Yes, yes. And working with you will ensure that we do have those finishes that we're looking for. 100%. So, Another thing I want to point out, obviously we're inside, the walls are not bare, they're not gray. We have done a bit of something. I would want for you to talk us through, you know, what it's, why it is important to have, you know, the products that we have on the wall right now at this stage, why we don't just go on and put paint. But, you know, we're going to do that on a later stage. For now, I actually want to go to one of the main features of this project. You yes. probably noticed this already in a couple of places, like especially outside when we were talking about the gazebo that you can see. Yes. We have a lot of this uh, type of metal work around the entire project. And it's a beautiful, it a beautiful is. Finish. This has been truly a work of passion and we came up with the design and it was so important to create something that was so eye-catching. And again, <laughs> Of course, when you're working with uh, metals versus wood, you're probably going to use different products, right? It's yes, not the yes. same product that we're using on the boards that we're going to come and use in this. Yeah. It's very important for us to protect this. You can't just have something that looks pretty, but then, you know, ends up rusting or doesn't age well. So I just want you to tell us what's the best way we could go about protecting this beautiful, beautiful work. Exactly. So, um, when it comes to metal, especially um, when you're carving it up the staircase, mm. there's a lot of welding, a lot of joining, yes. a lot of uh, spaces that needs to be filled. You can see, especially mm. with this design, there's a yes. lot of that it, going it's on. It's a lot of that mm. going on to produce this kind of elegance. Mm. Now, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, um, the final 
paint is what will give you the elegance that you are trying to paint out. Yeah. Mm. So your metal has to be very even. Mm. And that is when we come in with first, you, you can see the white, white product that has been done around the corners w of the metal. What is that? That <laughs> is the crown podifila. Yes. Now podifila mm. gives you a chance mm. to actually feel mm. any, an, any joints, mm -hmm. smoothen it, mm -hmm. sand it, have a proper smooth finish. Yeah, so and like bits like this here, yes. the joints so and like the holes. Yes, these, and... the joints, the mm. holes. Mm. That is where we have a product that is that has very good addition, mm. very good sandability. Yes. That is really important mm -hmm. because for you to achieve a very fine mm -hmm. uh, finish and mm. smooth finish, mm. you need to have that. Yes, Then secondly, definitely. you need to actually worry about mm -hmm. protecting this metal mm. from corrosion. Yeah. So what do you mm -hmm. need to do? You yeah. have to protect it from corrosion, from mm. rust. Yes. So that is where you, again, we offer a crown zinc phosphate mm -hmm. primer. Mm -hmm. What is that? What does uh, that do? Essentially, what that does mm -hmm. is um, it, it protects your service mm -hmm. from exposure mm -hmm. to factors that would actually uh, bring um, things like rust. Yes. So, um, mm -hmm. Rusting, this is iron metal, mm. so we need to protect it by giving it a zinc layer, mm -hmm. which is resistant to actual um, air, mm -hmm. water reaching the iron, which can which can then rust. Yes. So those are the things that are very essential mm -hmm. that needs to be done before mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. putting your top coat. Yes. There's something you mentioned when we were walking in about high traffic areas. Yes. This is definitely going to be one of them. People are going to be interacting with this, whether they're going upstairs or downstairs. So when it comes to choosing that final coat, what would you recommend to make sure that it doesn't get scratched up over time or wears off or getting stained? I've yes. noticed there's some places that if you touch the paint enough times, it gets really, really stained and it's not pleasant. Yes, mm -hmm. that's a very good question. Mm. It, at any point when you are choosing the kind of top coat you want to use, you need to consider, mm -hmm. uh, is this area going to be exposed to um, maybe dirt? Mm -hmm. is, is it an area that is going to be exposed to water? Mm -hmm. Now, such a service mm -hmm. is going to be a high traffic area. Mm -hmm. Or even where someone is moving down the stairs. They're definitely going to touch it. Absolutely <laughs> going to touch it. So yeah. you need to have a product mm. that is scratch proof. Mm. A product that is not easy to appraise. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you can touch it as many times as possible. You can't scratch it. Mm -hmm. you, it is easy to wipe off mm. in case there is any dirt exactly. accumulating over time. Yeah. And, and with this, we recommend a 2K. It's what we call a two system mm -hmm. acrylic enamel. Mm -hmm. Now, this is normally you've seen the vehicles that we have on the road. Yes. The kind yes. of. Uh, Finish paint mm. that is being used mm -hmm. is a 2K acrylic enamel. Oh, system. okay, okay. Now, mm -hmm. That is a long term product. That's what we want. Yes, we want long term products. And I know you absolutely <laughs> need to protect this masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is a, an art of. Yeah, it's a, a work piece of, of art, work. Actually. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, that is what we are looking at. We, you need to have a product that can last long, mm -hmm. very durable, mm -hmm. scratch resistant. Yes. And that is what we call a pressure resistant. Yeah, because it's finishing. With very good addition. Yeah. And very good looking. Mm. You can have it in matte finish. Mm -hmm. That means oh. you may not need a shine, mm. or you can have it in a glossy finish. Mm -hmm spectacular mm. metallic mm. or either a, a just a solid color i really like the freedom of having those options yes. because i think there is a perception where oh no if you want something durable it has to be glossy so because there's i don't know it's like if you see something shiny it's slippery meaning it's easy to clean and therefore you know that's the only option so having all those things come together and still have the freedom to have any finish you want is yes. amazing it's amazing so now that we've talked on and on about this amazing grill, we can now head on upstairs to the master bedroom where I think that will be the perfect place for you to really talk to me about what we've done for the walls and why that's important. Absolutely. Okay. So this way, this is the master bedroom.
I think as soon as you walk in, you can see why I wanted us to do this section here. Yes. It's because this is one of the rooms that really represents all the different elements we've talked about. You can see we have the wood on the wall, you can see we have the metal in the balcony, but the main thing I want to focus on is obviously all the walls are white as we've walked through the entire property. So I want to know at this yeah. stage, why is it important to kind of prepare your wall before you can even think about the type of paints that you want to have in your uh, project? Okay, so it's really important because when you're building an, um, such an elegant house, mm -hmm. then you need to have a very even, smooth finish, especially on mm -hmm. the interiors. Yes. Now, look at a concrete surface like this. Yes. This area, if, mm -hmm. if painted directly, mm -hmm. not only mm -hmm. do we have issues with the alkalinity of the cement that yeah. is used. Mm -hmm. You know, alkalinity means it, mm -hmm. it has more of the pH that is coming from the cement in mm. itself. Yes. So what are the challenges that you're going to experience if you just do something on top of it? Mm -hmm. You could have a fluorescence. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know whether you've seen the white <laughs> matter that comes out of paint over a particular period I haven't, of time, especially if it's exposed. Of course you wouldn't see because <laughs> when you yeah. do such mm -hmm. good uh, craftsmanship mm -hmm. at your work, you, you don't you experience, are not experience things experience like that. that. Yes. So. <laughs> What needs to be done is mm -hmm. uh, what we call skimming. Yes. Skimming, you come and apply a wall, a, what we call wall plus fine putty. Mm -hmm. Now that is a white cement putty mm -hmm. that guarantees it protects your concrete mm -hmm. from uh, substances that are coming off it mm -hmm. to the top coat. Okay. Secondly, okay. it mm -hmm. provides waterproofing properties mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then when sanded, it mm -hmm. gives you a really Really smooth, smooth finish. Finish mm. that is ready for top coating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that 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 needs to be done. Mm -hmm. That is where wall plus fine cement putty mm -hmm. comes in. Comes into play. Yes. Yes. So, because my general understanding, I think uh, before I started working with Pine Urban was just, oh, you just build a wall and you, you paint it. You choose your paint and you put it on. So knowing that there's an entire process that if we were to skip that, it's yes. really going, no matter how beautiful the paint you choose is at the end of it, if you've not prepped the wall well enough, it's just not going to work. Yes, you're not going to have a good finish. Yeah. We are talking of service porosity, that means mm -hmm. it takes more paint even. Yeah. You know, doing this actually cuts down the um, amount of paint that you're going to Yes. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, we need to paint mm -hmm. all the loose particles. It's really essential. Yes. And then have again the beautiful, mm -hmm. smooth, smooth finish towards the end of the project. So after we've done all this, Yes. We have the same freedoms in picking whatever finishes we yes. want, you know, whatever texture we might want to add to the wall is now readily available to us because we actually took the time to do this step. Absolutely. And this is all thanks to Crown products that we are able to actually use, be it, you know, the, the skimming and also with the paint that we're eventually going to choose. Exactly. So mm -hmm. especially now after sanding this, mm -hmm. There are a variety of top coats that will be ready for you. Mm -hmm. You could, having children around, mm -hmm. uh, especially with the whole pandemic <laughs> again, <laughs> yes. you know, we have what we call medical hygienic paint. Mm -hmm. uh, we've incorporated it with antimicrobial uh, additives. Mm -hmm. That is to give you an extra protection for three years. I feel like you guys have some very high tech things. Exactly. I heard self cleaning, so self cool. The antibacterial, I'm like, I didn't even know paint could have such, you know, uh, features. Yes, I haven't even mentioned vinyl mat. Extreme. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that is one with what we call stain blocking technology. Mm -hmm. So what happens is uh, exposure to wine, exposure mm. to household uh, uh, items, yeah. um, lipstick touching <laughs> the wall. I mean, it could fall yeah. on the wall, right? Yeah, yeah. Things so happen. Those, 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 those mm -hmm. are the kind of things that we bring onto the table. Mm. Things that gives you a very a uh, matte finish also, mm. but easy to clean. We, we all know that having a matte finish mm. sometimes it means uh, like you're gets, tied, your hands yes, are tied, yes, yes. but you guys have been able to make it so that no, you can still have that matte finish. Yes. Because I would personally say, when I'm building my house, I'm going to want matte finishes because that's the type of person that I yes. am. So knowing that I could have that freedom and yes. I don't have to be scared that 
my child will draw with a crayon yes, and that's and it for my wall. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and I so feel like it's it. to, so that is yeah. what we are coming with. Yeah. Then we of course have our uh, premium mm. product vinyl silk also. Mm. Everybody is using it mm. and we've seen for the last period of 60 years mm. plus we've been leading that kind of thing so that that is mm -hmm. what we're bringing to the table yes. i think you've just made me really excited because this uh particular project has multiple bedrooms this is a house that accommodates it's different like a, a large size family i mean you can tell from the backyard yes. <laughs> so we have all those amenities mm -hmm. so knowing that we're going to really have the freedom in finishes and colors to really spread out throughout the, this entire house is just incredible and I can't wait to see what we do but I do have like another pressing question mm -hmm. for you mm -hmm. I think we can now head downstairs and finish up this tour I think this is the perfect spot to finish off this tour we have our painter hard at work. You can see he's using one of the crown products, just yes. like we've used for the rest of the project. But my main question is like, now that we've done this tour, we've done this skimming, now we're looking forward to that next phase. What should we keep in mind when we're thinking about the kind of paints that we want to select for this entire project? Okay, so especially when you're looking at what you need to choose, mm -hmm. you need to, um, number one, um, especially with families now, mm. we, we will be looking at how do we protect our kids, mm. how do we choose a paint that is eco-friendly, like mm -hmm. if I'm inside this house or, yeah. or for the sake of the painters who are doing the project, mm -hmm. how do we ensure that the paint they're using mm -hmm. is actually odorless or, or is, yes. is friendly to them also. Yes. So we, we also need to look at is it a high traffic area that we are mm. going to be Very applying the, the paint that we are choosing? Mm -hmm. Is it an area that is going to be staining easily? Mm. Is it bathroom areas that is going to have massive moisture exposure? Mm -hmm. So um, those are some of the things that we need to highlight, especially before choosing. Yes. Because that then guides you on which paint to use. Yeah. Um, high operation areas, mm -hmm. you need something that does that that doesn't come off easily mm. and actually what we've done most of our interior paints mm -hmm. do not come off easily mm. even with massive scrapping washing yeah. with soft sponge it doesn't so, like chip off yes, or start it doesn't falling wash off, off. Mm. like some other paints when you do a washing and, and that's then you it. look at the sponge <laughs> that's it half at, your wall yes. is on the sponge yes you yes. don't have the entire wall and yeah. the paint Yes, we always do luxury projects. We want to do premium things. So that's why I felt like it was really, really important. Yes. And I think it's a very smart idea to actually have an expert come into the project and talk about the different areas and what you want for them. I'm glad that we've gotten to talk about high traffic areas. I feel like that's so interesting to me because genuinely it's not something I'd considered. So having to know like, hey, you have options. If you're going to be touching something a lot, you don't have to fear or feel like, oh, it's going to get dirty and I'm never going to be able to clean yes, it. Yes. You know, that durability has been something that we've repeated because it is of utmost importance and longevity. Yes. We are, we've always said that we're building dream homes. These are houses of clients who want to live here with their families for the long term. So definitely, we don't want anything that will require us to be back here in two years. Yes. They're like, hey, you need to come back and fix it because the paint has started falling off the wall. When you mentioned uh, scrubbing something off the wall and finding yes. half your wall on the sponge, definitely that is something I've experienced. I mean, at this stage in life, I, I don't have a property like this, but you know, you see things like that. So it's been, it's been incredible. And I am glad that if there's any other company, I mean, why not work with the best? Absolutely. <laughs> why not and work with the best? And we are really glad to be part of developing yeah. and, and being part of what you are creating. Yes. So Leonard, where can we find Crown Paints and Crown Paints products? Okay, so Crown Paints, we are all over the country. Mm -hmm. So we have our headquarters at Likoni Road, mm -hmm. Crown Paints. And then we have another branch at Dar es Salaam Road. Yeah. Um, and then we are available. We are also found in Kisumu, mm. uh, Mombasa, yes. um, Meru, Nyeri. Mm -hmm. And um, you can also follow us on our social handles, yeah. Crown Paints PLC, mm -hmm. Twitter, Facebook, mm -hmm. and Instagram. So all of that is Crown Paints PLC. Yes. So guys, you heard that. If you want to find out anything about Crown Paints, 
that's where you go. And as for us, you know the drill, fine urban construction and interiors. We recently rebranded. You can find us on all social media platforms. We're on Instagram, Twitter. We are on Facebook as well as TikTok at fine urban interiors. So I am looking forward to seeing you guys on more videos and I hope that you are on this journey with us, Crown Paints and fine urban interiors. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>